Hai guys, kita jumpa lagi hari ini Josh Eng di sini. Okey, apakah topik kita untuk video kali ini? Okey, kita tengok post yang saya telah buat uh, pagi tadi ya, di mana saya membincangkan apabila agensi yang besar makan dan telan agensi kecil cara penyelesaian yang terbaik ialah upkan ilmu korang sendiri that means you kena buat mengikut kaedah blue ocean strategy ok tengok ni image ni gambar ni ah burung pun dia warna ah, biru tu blue blue tu yeah. ok pada am ni ya, jika kita tengok pasaran agensi hatana masa kini, yang menjadi risiko agensi kecil ataupun ejen-ejen kecil, mereka selalu dia takut, takut akan dimakan dan di telan oleh agensi yang besar. Ya, yeah? in English we call it the big boys eat the small boys. Ah, tengok ni gambar ni. Ah, burung besar ni dia telah makan ah, grasshopper ataupun belalang ni. Ya, yeah? ah, so tak bagi can pun lah. You are small boys. We bite you. We eat you. We kill you. Ah. So that is what is happening in the market sekarang. Semua yang kecil-kecil so semua pun dah kuncup lah. Ah atas kuncup, bawah kuncup, semua pun kuncup takut je, takut je orang. So let's grow. Eh? Biar I scroll sekejap. Apakah komen yang belum masuk lagi ya? Eh? Okey, baru ni lah post ni pagi tadi baru satu jam eh. belum sampai 100 orang likes lagi kita bagi masa sedikit because hari ni masih holiday lah ha, dia orang sum semua belum bangun lagi saya ingat Okey, apakah dia blue ocean blue ocean strategi ni ok Let me give you apa yang Google cakap. Okay. Okay. Blue Ocean Strategy according to Google is the simultaneous pursuit of different vision to open up a new market space and create new demand. Tengok. The keyword. Uh, what is the keyword sini? Pursuit of high product differentiation. The keyword is product differentiation and low cost, making the competition irrelevant. Yeah, ah, korang baca baik baik ah. Product differentiation and low cost. Making the competition irrelevant. So that means korang tak perlu takut lagi lah tentang competition daripada agensi besar tu. Okay. Kita scroll sekali lagi. Oh, Blue Ocean Leadership Process. Okay, ini tak penting. Okay, what is Blue Ocean versus Red Ocean? Blue Ocean is a business strategy focusing on creating new market space rather than competing in existing one. A Red Ocean is an existing market with many competitors, while a Blue Ocean is a market yet to be discovered with no competitors. Ah. Korang baca baik-baik. Apa yang korang sedang buat ini sekarang ialah 
korang bermain, berkecimpung, beroperasi dalam Red Ocean. You are doing estate agency in an existing market with many competitors. Itulah apa ni makna Red Ocean. Tetapi, tetapi bila kau buat Blue Ocean Strategy, you create new market. You buka pasaran baru. Pasaran anda, anda yang tersendiri. Rather than competing in existing ones. So that is the, the, apa, the essence of concept blue ocean ini okay what is an example of the blue ocean strategy in malaysia okay contoh yang terbaik ialah a asia ya yeah. uh, dulu many many years ago mana ada low cost airline di malaysia tak ada kan uh, so a asia is the only one they create a new market they got no competitors sampai of course hari ini lah uh, uh, So the for the past more than ten years, they have been apani creating and gaining all the market to themselves. Satu sendiri, seorang saja makan semua. Ya, ah, itulah kaeda, kaeda blue ocean. Eh, so now kita bagi lagi tengok contoh. Eh. Contoh Blue Ocean dan Red Ocean. Okay, this is a good example. Kita tengok ni. Okay, okay, gambar ni. Red Ocean dan Blue Ocean. Red Ocean is what you guys are doing right now. Banyak ikan. Blue Ocean dia kurang ikan. Okay, now. Itu is not that important. What is important is this. Okay, you tengok betul, ah betul tak ini? Sida gambar ni. Red Ocean ada berapa sampan? Ada berapa fisherman sini? Blue Ocean, you seorang saja yang pergi tangkap ikan, because You are in a new market. You created your own market. Tersendiri satu orang. Ah, relax je. Tak ada competition. Ya, itulah kaida Red Ocean dan Blue Ocean. Okay, kita tengok gambar yang lain pula. Okay, Red Ocean tengok berapa kayu lah, berapa fisherman dah throw the kayu nak tangkap ikan. Tapi Blue Ocean tu tengok. Satu saja kayu tu, only one banyak ikan, ya. Yeah. So which would you prefer jika you jadi seorang agent hatana? Hmm? A lot of competition fighting in the same market, or you alone in a market with no competition but with banyak ikan tu, yeah. So that is the concept. Okay. Now the thing is this. Right now, in estate agency sekarang, ramai orang post kat Facebook. Dia kata dia agent hatana. Tapi you baca baca dia punya apa uh, post tu atau banner tu ataupun image tu lepas tu dia suruh apa? Dia kata kalau nak jual rumah, contact dia, bro. Let me tell us you these guys lah. Malaysia ni ada satu jenis hatana ke? In Malaysia only one property is it? Rumah saja tak ada jenis property yang lain. Yeah, only one. Ah, so that is the problem with agents sekarang. Ninety nine percent of agents sekarang 
Dia orang cuma buat jual rumah, sewa rumah saja. Only one type of property. So when you are doing the same type of property, you are fighting in the same market. You pergilah lembaga. Sekarang rent number dah berapa? Berapa rent? 60 ribu lebih rent. Itu yang didaftarkan. Yang tak ada rent tag tu, yang tak register tu, ah itu lagi berlimpah-limpah. Okay. So, when you're fighting in the same market, the same product, the same type of property, then that's where the problem arise, bro. Faham tak? Malaysia ni, kita ada easily lah 80 to 100 different types of property yang korang boleh buat. Tapi, boss you, principal you, HOD you, GSM you, GAM you, team manager you, team leader you, BOP kan korang, buat apa? Jual rumah, jual projek. Ya, yeah. ah baru ni I tengok satu keluhan, keluhan dari satu rent dia kata dia advertise apa ni SP sungai petani apa legenda semua tu tak ada leads masuk. Why? Bukan kerana you buat uh, audience targeting salah di Facebook ad tu. The problem is sebelum you two three months ago ramai rent sudah advertise produk yang sama. Ya, yeah. bila advertisement you iklan you sama punya produk sudah basi lah, ya. Yeah. Ah sudah lama punya everybody knows about it. Ah yeah. dulu dia orang advertise pun 5 minutes walk, 5 minutes away from one utama. Let's come to the apa ni European country. Berapa ratusan orang sudah advertise benda yang sama. Everybody knows about it already. Yeah? Ah, so it is nothing new. So you are not doing a creating a new a new market. Yeah. Ah, so semua benda yang sama. So daripada video ni, korang akan dapat dapat apa ni apa ni pencerahan lah. Yeah? So you must understand blue ocean dan red ocean. Bila you buat blue ocean, you are can have the whole market to yourself create a new market you have less competition no competition pun ah uh, where the client your customer they go come to you rather than you pergi cari customer bila you buat blue ocean you seorang saja sana customer akan datang cari you you tak payah bertungkus semua susah payah pergi cari customer lu lagi ya yeah. so that is the concept blue ocean dan red ocean yeah. so semoga video hari ini memberi manfaat kepada korang dan korang akan uh, boleh tukar haluan eh? uh, tukar haluan tentang which direction you nak pursue blue ocean ataupun red ocean uh, tengok baju saya pakai pun warna apa? warna biru bro blue ocean warna biru ok guys that's all untuk kali ini see you again in the next video